Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen. It has been a good while since I've made a devlog video, but you know what, whatever. Anyways, um, today we have um, a project that I've been working on. You guys know the failure that was um, the line maker. Um, well, the, like the main reason I abandoned the project is, well, number one, because you couldn't do much with it. There wasn't really much potential or anything like that. The, se the second reason is because I had a few, a little bit more ideas, a few more ideas that I wanted to implement. So I was like, hey, I might as well just make a full-fledged intro making application. Um, so yeah, uh, this is in this is Intro Maker. It's not really like After Effects. Its goal is to make intro making as easy and fast as possible, and uh, it does a pretty good job of it so far. But it's just it's really not powerful in what you can make. You can't choose the background. Can't choose what splines it uses. It auto generates those randomly. Every single intro is random though, and that's pretty cool. Um, I've been playing around with it for the past few weeks and improving it and things like that, but I think it's finally, like, stable enough to uh, put on your, you know, to release to you guys, so, uh, here it is. I've been working on the UI a good bit. It looks, it actually looks pretty nice. By the way, if you want this, if you want the font, just download the Unisans font. It works great. Okay, so, um, let's see, let's go over how this works. So, the text the text field, you know, you put in your text, it works. Jet, well, it literally works like that. You just put in your text, boom, it's in there. Alright, now, uh, color window. Color window, um, it's kind of the old window style of colors, but it works just fine for what I need, it, for what I need to do. So, let's say we wanted a mm, pink, no, red intro. Let's say we wanted a red intro, right? Select red, press OK changes the sound. but wait a minute Luke I don't like this font this font doo doo so you hit font you know you can change the font as well which is um, my, my favorite part because it it took me a long time to make um, working like text generation but hey it looks good alright so let's go ahead and uh, just do what all the normies do they just do an American caption just I normally wouldn't do, use this font but whatever okay so we have our color and our font time for music um, the bad, like, the letdown of how I do this is because it cannot, it can't, it can only open MP3 files, and that's kind of, that's also doo doo. But, um, if you have, like, a .wav, you're stupid, and if you, yeah. So, um, let's just do, um, sure, yeah, this is a good song. Alright, let's go ahead and import it in, and now we have our, uh, you know, all the stuff imported, and it's ready, we are ready to render, so let's just go ahead and hit that. Um, it will say this, and it you, it freezes a lot here, so I'm gonna see you guys when that's finished. Okay, I took a few attempts, but we are now it's now done. Again, super unstable, and I really didn't want to release this to you guys, so yeah. Um, it may take you a few tries to run the application, obviously, because again, unstable. Um, also make sure to run it as administrator. If you do not run it as administrator, it ain't gonna work. Okay, so thing is finished now and it usually outputs to the documents and the file name is whatever text you put so let's see if we go over here documents um okay uh, yeah here it is oops yeah here it is right here so it is yeah as you can see it's the same text that I inputted you can you know run it And yeah, it works perfectly fine. So, um, again, not too quick, not too great. The download is in the description if you want to try it. Um, but then again, super. just keep in mind that it's unstable. It's still in alpha. And um, yeah, but I'm going to keep you guys updated um, in some dead log videos on this channel. So if you're into that stuff, uh, yeah, you should stay tuned in. Alright, and I will see you guys later.